What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Six Days. I am Bob Six, and today I'm reacting to Samson again. This time it's Birthday Bash. Man, I tell you, I cannot get enough of this dude. It just sucks that I have to keep waiting for reactions because when you see me do the reaction, that literally is the first time I watch it. I do not pre watch them. So I can only listen to the songs I've reacted to. Oh, enough of my blah blah. Let's do this. <laughs> They're following all the safety precautions. People are going to sporting events that are bigger than this. This is going to be safe. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd. And, and this is just about optics. It's not about safety. <laughs> One hell of a party. I wish I was there. But with all this COVID, I bet you guys were scared. Well, you probably followed every rule with all the activities you did that night. I mean, you probably kept six feet apart the whole time and you only took your mask off for pictures, right? I bet you did. I bet you took every precaution. I bet you stopped the party every 20 minutes just to check everybody's temperature often. I bet you did. I bet everybody had to show the proof of their vax. And if they didn't, then they had to go home because Obama would never approve of this crap. I bet all the servers and caterers had to wear gloves when they served you your fave dessert. I really hope that you paid them first because they were risking their lives celebrating your date of birth. You said that you scaled it back because there's too much at stake. Yeah, I bet you scaled it back because y'all motherfuckers are a bunch of snakes. If I were to get a big group together, the media would put me through the shredder i'd be responsible for everybody's death for the next six months a super spreader but obama don't be stupid never this event was sophisticated this ain't no bean toss beer chugging bullshit in the backyard <laughs> listening to a playlist of country music you let's stop him right there he's just just spitting it too fast for me to even find a good stopping place so but there always seems to be one per fanboy watching back it up just a little bit yeah, that whole COVID bullshit. As I told my family, I can't remember if I've said it in one of the videos here, but me and my wife went and saw Alice Cooper and the place was packed. Very few people had masks on. There damn sure was no five foot or six foot uh, distance being maintained, especially when you're in line for merch. Guess what? Guess what did not happen? I didn't get sick at all. Neither did my wife. Uh, I just, come on people. I, I, I get this here, you know, what they're telling us and what they're doing are two different things. I have not been afraid at all from day one. Not at all. I live my life. I'm not going to stop living my life. And as I always point out, if you want to wear a mask and you want to get all those bullshit shots, that's up to you. I'm not telling you don't. I'm saying I wouldn't and I won't. Oh, look at me. Don't and won't. I'm, I'm a fucking rapper. A playlist of country music, you dumb, useless, stupid, small, little, measly runts. We can party if we damn well please, but you, <laughs> not even once, don't think about it. Matter of fact, it'd be better if you just didn't think at all. Now shut the f*** up and put your mask on before we have to get more deeply involved. We were outside, but under a tent. So technically that makes it inside, but it was still outside. You know what I meant, shut up. Whatever, you're never gonna hear the story from us We'll just have Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo talk about Trump and how horrible he was The media would take a dump in their britches if they caught wind the new Republican Speaking of Trump That bullshit going on in Florida right now That needs to be an eye-opener for a lot of people That shit is insane if they can do it to him, they can sure do it to you. Open your eyes, America. <laughs> Times are changing, not for the better. 
their britches if they caught wind the new republican did this and that just goes to show the double standards and the hypocrisies when it comes to this instance doesn't it just piss you off what? they come and they cut your small business off they grip their claws around and constrict till you ain't making shit then they tell you to suck it up and limp it off yes. then they skip and hop into their private jets and fly to barack's island to thrive and rest burning all that fuel into the sky while our fragile climate is in such a dire stretch with all these dying people packed in the hospitals i think you should feel a tad bit responsible you could have probably killed so many friends of yours you just added to the top of the toll that's what you say to me when I walk into Kroger maskless Why would I follow these rules that you yourself don't even practice? Perhaps if you stuck to your story we wouldn't be so f***ing disorderly You say that it's dangerous and then you do shit like this and that's just what floors me Well, you're my role model you're the one I'm supposed to follow So I'm gonna call everybody I know And throw a big ass party like there's no tomorrow The Newsom way, the Obama way Like a Nancy Pelosi spa day We're gonna rip the mask off and hug each other Till we can't hold on any longer Yay! It may not be sophisticated as yours But I gotta work with what my pay can afford I'm just taking orders from the people that matter The powerful ones, this is straight from the source Thanks Obama, I get the message Your actions spoke loud and clear F*** the World Health Organization, the CDC and Fauci Here's the bottom line Alright how long are we gonna do this? It's all up to us and it always has been There really ain't nothing new to it Our rights are being stripped All you gotta do is take a look around And it's only gonna get worse from here Unless we as a whole put our foot down It's a big club And you ain't in it And there we go As usual On point The one thing I preach all the time is we must unite. Stop looking at color, sexual preference, all that stupid shit. We are all human beings and we are being <laughs> lied to, controlled, having our freedom stripped away. They keep us stirred up and against each other so that they can do whatever the hell they want to do. We must unite as human beings and stop this bullshit. It's insane. They're doing it right in your face. And so many people, I, I cannot stand to hear people praise Biden in this administration. That, oh my God. But uh, I will most likely do another Samson later in the week. But man, I. I tell every single person I know to listen to this dude. It is just, man. He's exactly what we need. And hopefully people will listen and open their eyes. Hey, thanks for being here. Have a great day. Make someone smile if you get the chance. Don't forget to tell your friends and family each and every time you leave that you love them. Because you just never know when that's going to be the last chance you get to tell them. Be safe, people. We are living in some crazy ass times. Till next time, I am Bob Six. Peace.